one of the first questions I have here, and is a very, very common question is, what is the difference between Botox and fillers? Actually, they are different substances and the different purpose for that. Uh, Botox is a neurotoxin, so it's a, as a substance it's, that is uh, uh, driven from a bacteria. And what it does, it creates a transient paralysis. So what happens is the muscles stop contraction. And just yesterday I wrote something about the CrossFit that someone asked me to, to post. And what happens is when the muscle contracts, and you can imagine the muscle around your eyes, which is, works like a camera diaphragma, so it just shuts down. Okay, and the idea is to close the eye. So when that happens, there are some lines that show up on the corner of your eyes. That's what we call the cross feet. And funny enough, in English, you call it cross feet. If you go to Portugal, where I'm from, we call it chicken feet. In Spanish, it's going to be rooster feet. And of course, the French, they have to call it goose feet. So I don't know how the Chinese call that, but probably they have something very similar to that. Not duck for sure, but to be some birds of some sort, because that's what the impression it leaves on the skin. So by reducing that contraction and that strength, that's by using the, the, the toxin, we reduce the appearance of those lines, which is great. Which is, it's, that's, that's the main idea. Uh, well, and by doing that, the lines are not showing. So in the very first, in the very early step, if you start doing Botox, what happens is the lines don't, doesn't show. They don't come up, okay? So just have the movement, but there'll be no lines showing when you're at not moving. Some people like me already got some of the on the forehead, for instance. That's what you call a static line. Even without any movement, you can see the lines. So if I do this, you can see more lines coming up. And the lines are always perpendicular to the direction of movement. So if I do this, you're going to see a lot of lines. If I do that, the lines are not showing as much. But the idea is to avoid reaching the stage where I am. I'm a bit over, overdone there. Uh, not overdone, as I, it's, I need to, this doesn't go away completely if I do Botox, but before this stage, it does go completely away with Botox. And by doing Botox in a regular way and avoiding to come to this stage, what happens is also you work, work prophylactically, avoiding those lines to come. So Botox works on muscles, it balances expression. Some people are always, even very young people, are always frowning very heavily, and they look like they're already mad for some reason, or they are hungry, hungry, sorry. And uh, what it comes up is by doing Botox, you relax those muscles here and the brows also can lift a bit on the, on the middle, can also be, maybe lift a bit on the side and all the expression seems more relaxed. So that's the role for Botox.